Yo, what's good, everybody? It is I, Deltre. We are back with some more Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3. Last time it was Chocobos, man. Chocobos on Chocobos on Chocobos. So many birds. Somehow we managed to come out of that one alive, if only just. And believe me, man, I cannot believe how well Finath River went. I'm still kind of shook about that one, not gonna lie to you all. But today should be short, simple, directly to the point. I already did all of the propositions that I had available, and as it turns out, there's actually like five of them on this city right here, the, uh, shoot, what is it? What's it called? Bervenia, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was like five propositions there, and I didn't really do a whole lot with that, except break this next map in half. So, <laughs> what I did for the most part was buy Ignore Height on as many characters as I could. Uh, specifically in this case, I bought it for Shima, and I bought it for Void. Now, Steven, actually, as a bard, has access to the fly command, or the fly movement ability, whatever you want to call it, and since he's gained so much JP just being a generally useful character, he was able to buy fly, which does, it's, it's better than ignore height, but it makes no practical difference for this next map. Ignore height, teleport, and fly. I'll break this next one in two. So we have everybody set up for lots of damage, lots and lots of damage. Same thing, uh, same thing going on here with Void as we did last time. Except this time, instead of Earth Clothes, we're just going straight up power. Power, power, power. Dynamite has the Angel Ring, because I'm pretty sure she's going to get killed immediately. Because she is kind of slow, I didn't have enough speed boosting crap to go around. And because... <laughs> and because I saw at least one person bring this up... No, my G is not just here for time magic and crap I was I was doing a thing guys come on trust me here he had just enough to buy short charge after the end of the last map though which means he can now start firing off offensive spells again you don't really want to be stuck in a long cast like that without short charge at this point in the game because it's just it's just not a good look enemies are getting pretty fast and they can very easily interrupt you it's kind of why I haven't been using magic attack up on dynamite and then she's been doing a lot of status lately as well right but when, when you face faster enemies, you really want short charge because if you don't have it, then chances are you're not getting your spell off to begin with. So my G had to take a little bit of a backseat for the time being, but now he should be fine for the rest of the game. Assuming he's doing some kind of casting or maybe even switch back to a squire at this point because his equipment draw is super, super good. And we're going to be getting better swords and the like very soon, I have no doubt. Let's just move right on to Zeltenia Castle, man. This one is not too hard. I would almost say it's no harder than it is in the original game. In a sense. I mean, it, it's technically harder. It's technically harder. Like, the squad on this next fight is way tougher than it was in the original game. But the thing is, <laughs> the objective is the same. And the boss starts in the same spot that he always did. Ah... Uh, now, speaking of this little story sequence here, one of you guys actually said that the creator of this game, I believe it's M Matsuno, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm not very good with Japanese names necessarily, so hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, but he, he did actually go on record and say that, I, I'm paraphrasing here, but he, he sort of felt like he didn't know how to end this game, is essentially what he was saying. And when you get things like this, it kind of it kind of makes sense. To, like I, I haven't seen the article. There wasn't a link or anything. And I, again, I'm not saying that Final Fantasy Tactics has a bad story by any stretch of the imagination. No, I love this story. But even for the most diehard of fans, can anybody honestly tell me why we went to Zeltenia Castle here at all? I mean, I know why we did. It's to see Delita. The thing is, right? That wasn't really conveyed well. It almost feels like style over substance, or like. Yeah, style over substance. I think that would be a good way to put it. He just this. Well, we can see we can see what Delita's gonna say, I guess, right? Hmm, a heretic coming to church. Pretty bold. I I agree. Nobody recognizes this guy. Or they're not wanted posters. I have no time, so I'll ask you straight out. Why did you? Why did the high priest send you to Goltana? You came to Zeltenia to ask me that. Fine, I'll tell you. My duty is to assassinate Goltana and Orlandu. What? See, this is what I'm saying. Like, that's such a huge shocker, right? So the lead is like an inside agent of sorts, right? Which is crazy. That's so crazy. It, it almost feels like he, he wanted to have this twist, right? Because this right here, this is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. He wanted to have this twist where Delita was like the inside man, right? But he didn't have a good way to tell the player that, you know what I mean? Or I, 
Or at least that's what it sort of feels like, because... My G never said anything about coming to Zeltenia, to my knowledge. He certainly didn't say anything about meeting up with Alita, and yet here we are. It's a cool twist, and I, I mean, I like what they're gonna do with it, it's just that... W when you look at Act 4, compared to the rest of the acts, some of the setups are a little weak. They're a little bit weaker, that's all I'm saying. Right, shh, lower your voice. This is the real plan. We're trying to incite those dissatisfied with the government to revolt, thereby causing people to distrust the government even more. Both armies will try to put down the revolts, but won't have enough soldiers. Then what? They'll finish things by trying to break the deadlock. All these recent revolts were just the high priest's plan. And to stop these, both armies are heading to Beth- And to stop these, both armies are heading to Bethla. Everything is as you plan. But see, this is what I'm saying. It feels like they wanted to somehow inform my G of... Uh, of what's going on with the leader, right? And what, what he's doing over on Goltana's side. It feels like they wanted to explain that to my G somehow. But they couldn't necessarily figure out a good way to do it, you know what I mean? Because we as the player, we can see what Delita's doing. Because they, they've had no problem showing us what people besides Roms are doing in the main storyline, right? How many times have we cut away to see Delita doing something or Orlando doing something? In terms of the story, in terms of the narrative, right? There's nothing really saying why we're going to Zeltenia. I mean, yes to talk to Delita, obviously. But you kind of get what I'm saying? So I, I think that Mitsuno's assessment of himself was fairly accurate in that his own inexperience at the time kind of it almost feels like we're just doing stuff to do it at this point in some ways in a, in a small way in a small way don't get me wrong the story is still plenty interesting at this point it's just that upon 20 years worth of playing a game you, you kind of start to notice these things you know what i mean kind of like delita this guy must notice everything delita is a genius <laughs> delita is straight up a genius not quite yet because during the battle, Larg and Goltana will both be killed by someone. Of course, the leaders will also be killed. Nantens, Orlandu, Hokuten, Zelbag, and Dysodarg. Losing their leaders, both armies will stop fighting and turn to peace. Then the church will become the mediator. And the people will support the church entirely. They even threw in the Zodiac Brave legend. But the Zodiac Stones... Right now, you're the church's biggest obstacle. Yeah, that's a fair assessment. Aren't you also trying to get the stones? I'm not working for the church. What do you mean? You clearly just outlined a plan about how you were working for the church. Come on, Delita, make up your mind, kid. It means I'll kill you if I have to. God damn. I wonder if he would. He probably would. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I honestly, God, don't know if Delita would make good on that promise or not. I feel like it's a possibility, though. Don't worry. Our reasons may be different, but we want the same thing. As long as we want the same thing, we won't be enemies. Come with me. Sorry, I can't. I'd break the game in half, you see. Oh, come on, Delita. She. Prince or princess. It doesn't matter as long as they're easily controlled. The High Priest's plan calls for a puppet government. You're just using Ovelia for your own ambitions. I don't know, but... But what? I would give my life for her. Delita. Which is it, man? Both, maybe? I get. Yeah, probably both, truthfully. Is, is that strange? No, I believe you. My G, have you learned nothing? <sighs> My G, the church is surrounded. Come out quietly. That voice. Is it Zelmo? Seriously, this guy again? All right, real talk though. Zelmo is a joke. <laughs> Zelmo is a joke and a half. This? I... Yeah, let's try this. It's either the right or the left. If we have to be on the left, then so be it. I'm going to take a quick L, but... I, I think we want to be on the right, basically. They should be, like, right in a little cubby hole. Right next to the boss, because they didn't think this through. <laughs> it's almost as if he shouldn't start so close to you when you have abilities that let you just ignore terrain. I don't know. You're the Black Knight, Hyrule. Why are you here? Now that you've seen me, I cannot let you live. Come on, my G. They're unknowingly part of the High Priest plot. 
If you explain it well, they'd understand. Are you still such a dumbass kid? <laughs> well, good luck. Ah, my G. He was doing well for a little bit. He was got he was sort of more hardcore. With oh shoot, who was that? Like Barrington and his lewd and all them. Yeah, he was a real hard ass towards them, but Zelma, oh no. Let's show him mercy. Speaking of Zelmo, there's the man himself. You might have noticed that objective, but it was a uh, defeat boss. It was not route the enemy. So, <laughs> oh, oh, we got a crit on who? That's fine, I think. No stops, no please. All right, cool. I think we good. All right, I think we are good. So here comes Boyd. Okay, good. We get behind him, which means he's not looking so hot. We can attack him right here. Oh, by the way, yeah, this is Elmo's team. We got Sanders, the Sage, the Goku Rod. Okay. Another Sage. Ooh, scary. And then a bunch of monks over here. Yeah, a bunch of monks over here. Look out. Ooh. But the thing is, right, you may have noticed that he started right there. We picked up both Ignore Height. Oh, he didn't even get damage, but he's so done. Yeah, he's so done. Oh, we picked up Ignore Height, we picked up Fly. These abilities just let us straight up bypass terrain like that. Uh, regardless of height difference, so our jump stat is totally irrelevant. Totally irrelevant in this case. So we can just get right up to him. Ordinarily, you'd have to go around to the right, which admittedly does take you right through this whole area where all of his, uh, where, where his team starts, basically, right? But... <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so yeah, right here. But the problem is, I don't have to go that way. There's absolutely nothing at all. Nothing at all making me do that, because I can take Zelmo down with a combination of magic and a few people with Ignore Height and the like. So yeah, this is looking like a done deal. This guy literally cannot reach my G. Shima still has her turn. She can pop this guy with a draw out, even if it gets damage split. Is there a way I can do this and, like, not kill Void just for style points? Yeah, if I go right here. But yeah, I can go for a draw. Even if he gets damage split, it will not matter because he did not get a damage split on any of Void's hits. So, he's dead, basically. He's dead. This holy is the kill. And we still had one more attack in the back with Dynamite had we needed it. Because she's going to come back. I gave her the Angel Ring for just such an occasion. It was kind of lucky that she was the one that got crit, but then again, he shouldn't have crit me. Uh, <laughs> that is my legend. And down he goes. Since Dynamite was actually slower than all of the monks, she would have started the turn with more than enough time to get a spell off. She has short charge as well, so... Yeah, Zelma was very dead. He's very easy. <laughs> Not too bad. Oh god, please punish the wicked! Bleh. Wait, why am I dying? <laughs> It's almost like I'm the bad person here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it feel? How's it feel? Oh man, we're two for two now. Two for two, no L's. Of course, Zelmo himself had a bunch of really nice stuff to steal, but I do not care. You could not pay me enough to play this map out. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> so for all the bullshit this mod tries to pull, they still couldn't make Zelmo difficult. <laughs> Just let that sink in. Let that one sink in if you think you can. What are you gonna do, my G? I had two reasons for coming to Zeltenia. One was to see you. The other is to see Count Orlando. Thunder God Sid. I want his cooperation to uncover the church's plot. How? I mean, I literally just told you the entire plot, my G. How dumb can you be? Come on, my G, work with me. I have strong proof that will uncover the wrongdoing. <sighs> They're really sticking to that translation up. Because wasn't that his exact phrasing back when we were talking to Gap Garyon too? He kept saying wrongdoing. And what, what they mean to say is like... Well, in this case, they're, say, they're talking about the manipulation that the church is trying to pull. Wrongdoing, though. That's just that's such an awkward phrasing. Yeah. The Germanic scriptures. When I met Olan, the Count's son-in-law, he promised me that if I had proof, he would stop the high priest's conspiracy. Olan, huh? Come on, my G. Why are you telling Delita all this? It's okay. She's one of us. Several people were sent from Euron to help me. She's one of them. Help. More like keep an eye on you. Hey, come on now. 
She knows everything. She's the only one we can trust in the Gotana army. You're the youngest Bayal, my G, right? My name is Belmafila. Nice to meet you. You'd think I'd be important, but I'm actually not. And what do you want? Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is the only scene she's ever in. Actually, no, she's in one more scene, but she, she like, doesn't say anything or something like that. I remember some fan theories about this chick. Like, I almost can't help but wonder if... This is another case where something got cut? Maybe? I... I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like she should be more involved. I mean, she's got the custom sprite and everything. Got a portrait. Got a name. I don't know, man. What do you want? The whole container moving. Is Fort Bethla the target? Gee, I can't say that for some reason. I'm getting tongue-tied, man. Count Orlando left for Bethla a while ago. Goltana's headed for Bethla, along with your Black Sheep Knights. Well, a little too late. The battle won't end. I'm not giving up. I'll persuade the Count before any more die. Well, I guess it's goodbye then, my G. Stay alive, Delita. You too. <laughs> Sorry I said I would kill you earlier. Yeah, don't worry about that. I get that so much. You letting him go? I know what he'll do. You even use your friends. Shut up. What do you know? She knows a lot from the sounds of it. Ah, hey, I hate people like you. Hurry up and go. Hmm. I wonder. I really want it. Because, yeah, now that I think about it, she does show up one more time. And there's a theory about her. I guess I can talk about it when it happens, but that's not for now. What is for now? That was so short. That was, ah, the hell with it. I can, I can beat this guy, I think. I think so. All right, let's just give it a shot, guys. Now, we're going to go beat up an old man. I'll explain the setup as we do it. So we have my G. He's like a magic knight type thing right now. How do I do the... Where's the button for the... There we go. Yeah, yeah. He has a missile sword, 108 gems. I kind of wish he was a little bit faster, but nothing I can do. I need him to be tanky. We need we need health on this map, basically. Or at least in Dynamite's case, she has bad compatibility with the boss and the salty rage. So she's not taking a whole lot of damage. Uh, where do we want her? Right there is fine. Shima is right here. And we learned Hamido. Uh, there's... A fun little fact about that ability that we might get to see on this map, but who knows? 69% of the time, this should work out. <laughs> I'm really just kind of hoping it goes my way, man. I really am. I'm not going to lie. It'd be a lot easier if I wanted to. Something like this should be just about perfect, though. So, this is more likely than not also going to be a very fast one, because once again, we have a defeat the boss map. And I'm sure that his team is terrifying, but uh, this guy cheats. Oh yeah, <laughs> this guy definitely cheats. So I don't really want to play this out straight, I'll be honest. This might be the first time this track plays, isn't it? Oh, I hope you didn't think we were done with new map themes. Oh, no, no. <laughs> we still got a few more, I think. They're all spread. Nice wind should be enough to float them around the air for most of the day. Jesus Christ, this guy... Uh-oh. Didn't think I'd see you here. What are the Shrine Knights doing here? I was about to say. You said spread. What the hell did you spread? Wanna know? Don't say yes. I guess I can tell you because there's nothing you could do now. Spill it. What did you spread? This. <laughs> no. Here, catch, kid. <sighs> Poison. Really good observation there, my G. That's right. I spread this over to the Hokuten province. Any soldier who inhales this will be too sick to fight. The High Priest doesn't want Goltana to win the war. That is correct. If the Hokuten can't fight their best, the Nantoin will open the fortress. Totally annihilating it, making it a good chance to kill Goltana and Orlando. Of course, plans are set to kill Larg in the confusion. It'll probably be easier to kill him in the confusion over the poisoning. What? I can't tell if he's talking about the dialogue itself or just the translation, man. You should be happy. The war will end. 
From now on, we'll be the center of authority. The people want that. No more of you aristocrats ruling the kingdom. I won't let that happen. I'll end the war differently. Oh man, I'm feeling a little off today. <laughs> Anybody else? Seriously, he just stands there like an idiot and takes it. Come on, my G. You're no G of mine. My G would have moved out of the way. That's all I'm saying, man. I knew you'd say that. Of course you did. We have Bulk here, and he, as I said, is a cheater. But let's see if this is going to work out. So as I was starting to say before this map began, fun fact about Hamido. It can counter any kind of weapon, any kind of weapon at all. And that includes guns, hopefully. Yes, it does. Cool. <laughs> I knew that it could. It's just there's always the chance that it doesn't go off, obviously. Now, that's really, really big for me because, one, I need the damage. Bulk looks like he has about 5,000 health. Or er, 500 health is what I meant to say. And uh, he has two summon guns because he's an asshole. How? Oh, I don't know. Don't even begin to ask me how he can do this. You can't do this yourself. You can't have two guns. I'm not sure if I've said that or not yet, but just let it be known that this is not a possibility. I would have been doing this. Now, you might think this is a good chance to get some more of these summon guns for yourself, but you literally cannot because Balt, uh, he's an engineer. And engineers have maintenance by default, so you can't, you can't steal from them, you can't break his guns, you just have to deal with the fact that he is, uh, he's gonna mess you up really, really badly. Pretty scary stats, CT save. And he has Mistadio's moveset, not that he would ever use them, because he can probably just kill anybody at all with the summon guns, that's why everybody has so much HP. Uh, Steven does not because he has really bad faith. And magic guns do care about faith, so he takes no kind of damage from both. Oh, dick! <laughs> Please don't screw me up, man. Watch him be the one. You just know he will. With a name like that, it's gotta be. Does he have a whale whisker? Oh my god, he does. Oh, hell no! <laughs> a whale whisker with the meat on Yeah, no thanks. So, the idea here is that I'm gonna throw a haste to my G. This cannot miss from dynamite having good compatibility and whatnot. So we're going to do that. Then I'm going to attempt to throw a haste to Shima. Now, Steven and Shima do have best possible compatibility. So that's fairly likely 70%. If it had been school, it would be easier if it did. I don't know if it changes anything necessarily. But we'll do our best with that. Dynamite and my GR now. Haste it good. My G is going to throw a holy to bulk and he's not going to move. He's going to stand right there. Let's see if this one hits, though. This would be a little bit better if it did. It does not, though, unfortunately. And we're going to move. Oh, do I want to attack? Is this going to be lethal if I attack? Let's see, 128? No, it won't be lethal. See, my thing with attacking right here is that he might get healed. I know for a fact that if this would kill him in combination with Holy, somebody over here has to have healing, right? Of course, Dick has healing. He would. He would. The guy with power source would be named Dick. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Uh, auto. And power source, again, is Elixir, by the way. So, if I, if I damage Bulk too much right now, I have no doubt that this guy will just heal him. And I don't want that. Yeah, there would be an item guy. Of course there's an item guy. Item guys at this point are your main threat, I would say, in terms of revival because of that power source ability. And most of the enemies have it. I think they just flat out all have it at this point, in fact. Uh, we're going to find out, though. This with Holy isn't lethal, but then again, Shima is still alive. And Shima can just shoot, so I'll, I'll actually just wait. Yeah, I'll just wait. It's a 70% so fairly likely. Yeah, 70% was fairly likely and all that, but this will not trigger a heal, probably. Because he's still going to be over half of his health. So I'd imagine that the monk will not use an item on him at this point. The monk will then move. Then Bulk will get hit by Holy. Or at least that's the plan. Now, everybody should be able to take this onslaught from these guys, more or less. Yeah, they're gonna go for a death strike. If anything, I can give Void a bunch of evasion crap. Because he's really there to just sort of <laughs> distract these guys, more or less. Oh no, this guy has good compatibility with me. I didn't really foresee that as a possibility. 
Thankfully, I like I said, I'm so tanky right now that it's doubtful that I'll be going down. Especially if I get an auto potion. But if he gets an undead in combination with auto potion, that can be very bad. That's not what happens though, so we should be okay. And I just have so much health strictly to uh, strictly to draw a bulk into attacking Shiba, basically. To potentially trigger a Hamido. Which we did, so I mean, that part worked out just fine. This should cause him to get really low, but he can still kill Shiba, technically speaking. And he can't kill anybody else because of all of the HP, or having low faith, or having certain equipment, basically. So Bulk will attack Shima. She may get a Hamido, but I did give her... Hold on, am I dead? I'm actually not even dead with my G. So that's good. And Bulk actually never got... Huh. Well, I kind of wish I had a better secondary here. I just... I have Dynamite as a thief for speed, basically. How much damage do you think this guy does to me? How much damage do you think he does to me? Oh, zero. Yeah, Shima the Greatest. Dynamite the goat, man. Well, I mean, I guess since we didn't kill Bulk right here, we can get the rest of this dialogue. But I I'm basically just thinking that if he attacks... Uh, if he attacks Shima, he will die. No matter what. Basically. What are your plans after this war? How are you going to clean up Rot Nivellis? You should know. Unless you cut the rot, the same thing happens over and over. Cutting's your only solution. Not everyone's rotten. There are many people who aren't. Yeah, name five in this game, my G. No lie. <laughs> there should be other solutions besides war. There are no other solutions. As long as your aristocrats will be exploited. There's no such thing as equality. One side is always being exploited. Then I want to be on the exploiting side, after I overthrow you. Then the same thing will repeat itself. You're only thinking of yourself. Someday you'll be overthrown by somebody else. You're being an idealistic hypocrite. Ugh, I, don't, I don't know who's... Oh. Oh, Bulk can kill... Oh, crap. Oh, crap, he can kill Dynamite. Oh, God, no. I should have been watching that more closely. I should have definitely been watching that more closely. Well, while I'm dying here, I will say that Bulk's dialogue is pretty interesting there because it's still trying back to that central theme of aristocrats versus everybody else, essentially. Oh, thank God, he's an idiot. Never mind. Problem solved. Didn't he charge that shit right on me? Wait, he charged the flare too on my G, right? He surely did. So. Wow, this is not how I thought I would be killing Bulk at all. <laughs> we take those. We definitely take those. In fact, he doesn't even kill me, so what I can do is... <laughs> oh, Serge, you idiot! What have you done? All oh, right, poison. Of course. Of course. But what I was saying, though, with Bulk is that... He's still another character, yet another character who is really tied up in this aristocrats versus the common person battle that's been going on since Act 1, basically. So I do like that they're keeping that a consistent theme. It's just that with somebody like Bulk, he, he kind of comes out of nowhere. He kind of comes out of nowhere and he's about to go <laughs> real, real quick because Surge is a goddamn moron. Can you believe it? Oh, man, that's great. That's great. Uh, just for the hell of it, let's get Dynamite back on her feet. Just because we can't, really. No particular reason. So, add a girl, get up. We got that haste off with her, and that was all that we really needed to do there. That allowed my G to get the holy, first of all. Well, he was always getting the holy, but more importantly, we were able to redirect that flare. What I thought was going to happen is Bulk is going to attack Dynamite a second time. At which point... Uh, essentially... Well, a few things would happen. Either either she would Himito again, or she wouldn't, but then she has the Angel League, so she gets revived. Either way, my only real fear was him moving out of the way for the rest of my characters when he chose to attack Dynamite, but since he didn't, 
this, uh, it, it was kind of roundabout, but this was more or less what I was expecting. So, hey, that's pretty good, I think. Two for two, baby. Actually, that's three in a row. Hell yeah. Damn it. I'm not going to die in a place like this. Yeah, that's what they all say. See you in hell. <laughs> I have to hurry. Get out of here, kid. So, yeah, Bulk actually does die, as far as I'm aware. Ah, finally, finally, somebody dies in one battle. Kind of rare in this game, not gonna lie. You'd almost kind of think he was set up to be some kind of recurring villain for this arc, but nope, 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 that is it, for sure. We'll definitely never see him again. All right. Some money, ooh, a Kikuichi Monji. A circlet and an octagon rod. The octagon rod sucks, obviously, because you have the whale whisker. Another circlet is nice for more magic boost and crap. And I think that's the best... Yeah, that's definitely the best katana we have as of right now. So that's a pretty good sword, if nothing else. Not a very hard fight, though. If you already know that whole Hamido thing. If you don't know it, then oh my god, that just looks so bad. That looks so impossible, if not for that. At the very least, you have to be able to draw him forward somehow. I, I know that much. But since he has, he has two weapons, technically, so damage split's not really a way there, I don't really feel... Uh, being that you only counter one of the hits and whatnot, so you need to be kind of tanky in some ways. And I do like that it actually rewards some level of uh, beefiness on your characters, right? It's not all just speed, speed, speed. Because you're not outspeeding both. That's not happening. What, did he have 12 speed or something? Yeah, you're not, you're not outpacing that guy, so you're going to have to be able to take hits somehow. Either by re-raises, status of some kind... Like, protect shell. Well, shell in this case would be the big one, right? Magic weapons and all that. But yeah, not a hard fight. Not a hard fight, if you know the trick. What do you mean, suspicion of conspiracy? Please, obey the orders. Nonsense. I'm Thunder God Sid. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Why would I be involved in a conspiracy? It's too bad, Sid. Attempting rebellion. I feel like I feel like Goltana is very paranoid or something. Like that, that's kind of the vibe I get from his character. Because why on earth would he ever suspect Orlando of anything? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, Orlando's like you can't be serious. You're, you're joking, right? After how many years of service? <laughs> it just I don't know. I wouldn't say it's a blot hole or anything. I just think it speaks to Goltana's character. I don't know, man. Not not a very strong ruler, to say the least. I'll say that. Definitely not. Not with, not with this kind of decision making, man. You're killing the Thunder God. <laughs> you can't be serious. I'd never think of. Yeah, well, my new best friend Delita told me that. <laughs> I have proof. You've been secretly planning with the church to overthrow me. Nonsense! Who told you such a lie? You still deny it. Hearing of your betrayal, the High Priest notified me personally. It's the High Priest's plot. The High Priest's plot? How dare you say that? Can you prove it? I've been serving you over 20 years and you still don't trust me. I cannot go to war without your knights. I'm very disappointed, Shin. Take him away! I can't remember if that was Goltana's voice or not, but it is now. <laughs> I will say, though, that if it was the High Priest who came up with this whole this whole plot, and the High Priest did indeed tell Goltana personally, then okay, in that case, there's... Uh, the High Priest has pull. That's been established, I think, by this point in the game. And of course, we know that the High Priest is going to betray this guy. Yeah, add another betrayal to the pile. <laughs> I, I, I kind of lost track. There's so many in this game. But of course, we know that the High Priest is full of crap. But he's a high enough ranking that I suppose that given a personal visit and whatnot, he would have reason to... Uh, that is to say, Goltana would have reason to believe that Orlando was maybe plotting something. Yes, Your Excellency. Continue your contact with Muron. If we get an official edict, overturning log will be easy. The High Priest's already decided. No need to worry. Thanks for your trouble. I will grant you command over the non-ten knights. You will become a holy knight. I appreciate your kindness. I'm counting on you, Delita. I know I can trust you. <laughs> Unlike that Orlando guy. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe, maybe he's still not the brightest. Let's put it that way. I will let you down. 
Pinky's promise. Ah, my fingers are crossed behind my back the whole time! So the plot thickens yet again. This war is really heating up, and we are going to find out more about that next time. So, for the time being, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Rating helps me out. Let me know your thoughts as well, and I will catch you guys in the next one. See you then. Peace.